Hi everyone, I wanted to show you my December card kit in the mail. This month I am using the Snowflake Sentiments. And so you can see that it's got some nice snowflake images. Um, it's got some great bigger greetings that you can use on the front of the card or inside. And then it's got a couple of nice verses to include. And then the to and from, which is great for tags. So it's a great versatile stamp set. And the other thing I wanted to point out too, like the cards that I have in the card kit, the samples I'm going to show you, use these greetings. But you could definitely, like let me pull in this first card here. So this is the first card in this month's kit. And you could certainly send this as a Christmas card, but if you had a birthday greeting that was bigger like this, you could make a nice birthday card for a winter birthday too. So, you know, kind of think outside the box a little bit as to how you might use these cards for something other than, or the stamp set, other than Christmas. So, I should have turned my light on. Let me run over and do that really quick, sorry. Just to give a little more light in here. Um, this is the first card. I used Powder Pink, one of the new in colors. There's a few rhinestones on there. And um, there's the silver. You can see the foil reflecting the light a little bit. Um, I used the layering ovals framelits to cut out the inside of that and get the scallop around the edges. So that is the first card. This is the next one. Again, that powder pink is the card base. And then some silver foil that I embossed on, some of the black shimmery ribbon. And then here's some new silver twine that's actually in the upcoming occasions catalog. So there's, um, let me think, four, I think. One, two, yes, four products that you will get as you know elements in this card kit that are from the upcoming occasions catalog. So it's kind of a little sneak peek this month as well. So that's the second one. Here is the third one, and this is your second sneak peek, this white ribbon that you see on here. Um, you'll also notice there's some vellum, which adds a nice element to the card. And then one of the glittery embellishments there, and that's actually from the annual catalog. Um, it's one of those things that gets overlooked a little bit. They're so pretty in person. And they're actually, let me grab that quick too. Um, there's several different colors and it's actually like an ombre type where you get the four different colors but then it goes from dark to light and there's different sizes and they're all a little sparkly. So those are really fun embellishments. And I like that you get the different colors in the one package to um, you know, give you more options there. So. This is the fourth card, new ribbon, vellum, and the glittery dot. This is the fourth card. I may have just, I don't know if I just called that other one the fourth card. Anyhow, this is the fourth card. It's got some designer paper. This is another sneak peek here of this berry burst ribbon with the silver on the edge there. You can see I used that behind. There's a foil snowflake on this one, a rhinestone. And on these two, you'll notice I used like the verse that you would typically use on the inside. I use them on the front, and then on the inside of those, I would use one of these larger um, greetings here. So you can do it either way. You can do them on the front or on the inside. So to get the supplies to make these four cards here, you need to do a $40 minimum order using the host code that I will put in the um, comments below. So you use that host code on my website, place your $40 minimum order, and you'll get the supplies to make these cards. Now, if you want to complete them just as they are shown, you obviously need the Snowflake Sentiments stamp set. You will also need a black ink pad, a Berry Burst ink pad, and then other things that I used were glue dots to attach things like the ribbon and twine. And then I also used um, the fine tip glue pen to attach this little piece here and some Stampin' Dimensionals. So the stamp set, oh, and you know what? You need the powder pink. I knew there was a third ink pad to do the snowflakes on here. So powder pink, black, berry burst and then those couple adhesives that I mentioned. If you want um, to see specifically 
you can go to the events on my page here and I have it all spelled out there as well. Um, the last thing, I always do a bonus card each month and that you get the supplies free with a $75 order. So I changed it up a little bit this month because I was super excited about these new little boxes. These are new mini gable boxes that will be in the occasions catalog. So remember how I told you there were some sneak peek new products. It's this white ribbon, this silver twine, um, the berry burst ribbon here, and then these boxes. This is the fourth thing. And so I cut out the snowflakes with some foil paper, added some rhinestones, a little rhinestone and silver embellishment up here. I use that to and from that comes in the stamp set. So if you do a $75 order this month, you are going to get the supplies to make this little box as well. And like I said with all of these, obviously great Christmas cards, but they also work for any winter occasion. If you have a winter wedding to attend or anniversary or birthday, you can use these same stamps, just swap out some greetings that you might already have and you can make these cards for those other occasions as well. So check the comments. I will leave the host code there. Um, do your order using that host code by December 15th, and then I will mail you the supplies to make these projects, and I will email the instructions so you know exactly step-by-step -step what you need to do. And remember, if you are on my Stampin' Up! team, you can look to our um, team Facebook group and see the details on how you can get the card kit there and um, just that little perk for team members so that you do your order on your own and still get to make that.